Hello friends, it's wonderful to be here again with you this morning. I hope you had a lot of fun last night at Halloween. Enjoyed some candy and went trick-or-treating and got into your costumes. So wonderful. Well, today I have my friend Shine. Can you say hi to the kids? She's going to help us tell the story today. So let's get ready to hear God's story. We take our hands onto our shoulder. The Lord be with you and also with you. Today's story symbol is this. I wonder what our story is going to be. Well, let's have a listen. Shine is going to tell our story for us today. Are you ready? Long, long ago, there lived an important man who worked for the king. He was sad and so, so worried. His son was very ill. So ill, he was going to die. And no one could help him. But then, he heard that a man named Jesus was doing the most amazing, wonderful things. He heard that Jesus was making ill people well again. He heard that Jesus was doing things only God can do. So the man decided to ask Jesus for help. The man and his son lived in Capernaum by the sea, but Jesus was staying in Cana, more than 20 miles away. It was a very long walk and uphill all the way. But the man had decided that he must see Jesus. So he said goodbye to his son and his family, and he set off to see Jesus. Up the hill, he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he wanted so badly to see Jesus. The sun went down, the night was dark and the stars were bright, but the man didn't stop. Huffing and puffing, he walked and walked and sometimes ran, hurrying to see Jesus. The sun came up, the morning arrived, but there was still a long, long way to go. Puffing and panting, the man walked and walked and sometimes ran because he needed to see Jesus. At last, at one o'clock in the afternoon, the man reached Cana, the town where Jesus was. He had walked and walked and sometimes run and now, at last, he could see Jesus. Please, sir, he said, my son is dying. Please come with me. Please make him better. The man knew that if Jesus came with him and touched his son, the boy would be well again. But Jesus just said, go. What? Go home without Jesus? After all that walking and even running to get Jesus to come, but Jesus hadn't finished. Go, Jesus said, and then he added, your son will live. The man believed him. Jesus wasn't going to come to the man's home. He wasn't going to touch the boy to make him well. But the man still trusted that what Jesus said was true. Down the hill, he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he believed Jesus. The sun went down, the night was dark and the moon shone brightly. The man felt so, so tired, but on and on he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he trusted Jesus. The sun came up, a new morning arrived, and still he walked and walked, though his back ached and his legs were very tired. On he walked and walked and sometimes ran, because he was sure Jesus would make his son well. Then, far away in the distance, he saw some men. They came closer and closer. 
They were his own servants. They must have news, he thought. But what would it be? Sir, they said, it's your son. He is alive. He is well again. The man was bursting for joy. When, the man asked, when did he get better? Yesterday, at one o'clock in the afternoon. One o'clock? One o'clock, the men replied. Then the man remembered. It was one o'clock when he saw Jesus. It was one o'clock when Jesus said his son would live. And it was one o'clock when his son got better. Jesus didn't need to go and see the boy. He didn't need to walk and walk. He didn't have to run. Jesus simply spoke. And just like that, the boy was better. Wow, only Jesus could do that. And do you know why? Because Jesus is God's son. Happy and smiling, the man walked home and sometimes he ran to see his son again. Then he told his son and his family about Jesus and how Jesus could do things only God can do. And they all believed in Jesus, God's son too. And now that the man's son was well, what could he do? He could smile and he could laugh. He could walk and he could run and all because of Jesus. Thank you, Shine, for telling that story. That is a story out of the Bible, and I'm sure the kids loved listening to you tell that story. I wonder if you can pray with me right now. So let's fold our hands and pray together. Dear Jesus, you love us and want the best for us always. You are our healer, and stay close to us even when we are sick. We pray for the people in hospital who are sick. Let them know your love and peace surrounds them in every time and in every place. Amen. Boys and girls, I wonder if you could do something wonderful for somebody who is sick. If you could write them a letter or even phone them and just let them know that Jesus loves them too when they're sick and that you are there to help them and to support them and to be there for them. Have a great week and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.